and we're back for another video guys we're here with a bmw 530 electric 530e plug-in hybrid we just unplugged the car so the car has a full battery and we're gonna do a range test now this range test let's see so the car is reading 22 miles of range so we're gonna go here and we're gonna click individual and we're gonna go actually reset individual. Now, we are going to drive the car on a normal route that I would take. People do these range tests where they just jump on the highway and go straight on the highway or they just do whatever. My range test is gonna be more realistic for me, which is taking the car from like here to like the gym, to my apartment, to work, to the gym, my apartment. That's the loop I take, right? I take three main spots every single day. And just to show you guys, since refueling, I've gotten 51 miles a gallon. I've driven 190 miles and uh, I've driven 101 of those 190 miles in electric. This number would be a lot higher, but two things happened. One of them, I just spent the last 80 miles on the highway, which is why like this is 190 this is 101 because normally most of my driving was in electric mode but i jumped on the highway for a long journey number two while on the highway to prep for this video i actually put the car in the charge mode that it has to charge up the battery and i came over here just to top it off to make sure we were good because i didn't want to wait three hours three to three and a half hours to charge this battery from empty it is a 12 kilowatt hour battery nine a little over nine kilowatts usable and it only takes 3.3 kilowatt hours um, charge speed versus 6.6, .6, which sucks. This is a $65,000 car. They should have, I know it's a small battery, but it's a $65,000 car. I know it's a small battery, but it's, a, you get the point. I can go to the gym and if it was a 6.6, .6, I could probably just work out and do my thing and come out to a full charge instead of half of a charge, but I'll take it. But the car is reading 22 miles of electric range. We will go back to individual. We will take it on a drive. Just to show you guys, we're gonna start the car. We're gonna keep the climate control at 70 deg 69 degrees auto. Car's reading six or 22 uh, miles of range. Turn off the heat steering wheel. Turn off the heated seats. That shouldn't affect the range. And we're just gonna go on the normal drive, which is some back roads, some city. The back roads get about like 55, 60 miles an hour, some city, because that's more reasonable to me. So I'm gonna take it out for the drive, guys and just come back to the video and show you guys what we got. And then I'm, as a tidbit, I'm gonna go top off the tank and do the math on so far, cause we're at, we've already used up a quarter tank and just do the calculations on how many MPG I've actually attained. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit guys. And we're back checking in. We are at about the halfway point. As you can see, we have 12 miles of range and we have driven 15.5 miles already uh, we're currently going 45 miles an hour side note if anyone is wondering this the car can go up to 85 miles an hour in electric mode which i think is perfectly like a, a great speed the prius plug-in we have cuts off at like 62 which i think is dumb uh this car has enough power to um go up also in terms of cruising power it has plenty of power. We're going up a very steep hill right now and we're only at 40. I don't know what that means if it's like percentage wise, but usually when I take off, I'm at like 20%, maybe like 30% when I'm like taking off like red lights and stuff. So it's plenty zippy in electric mode to get around town and like pass other people. Um, but we are almost at our turn away point or turnaround, sorry, turnaround point. Uh, and then we will head back towards work. So I'll check in in a little bit. If we drop down to 11 miles of range, 16.2. So currently it's looking like 17 miles, uh, or uh, what's it called? 27 miles, sorry. Uh, the car is saying that it's averaging 3.5 kilowatt hours, or miles per kilowatt hour. I'm still learning all this electric stuff, don't you let me. And uh, yeah, we're doing fairly well. Uh, no complaints so far. 
we have been reaching speeds of 45, 50. I might jump on the highway for like a couple miles stint just to throw it off and get up to like 70, 75. Um, it's normally not part of my route. That's why I, I'm kind of eh on it because I want to show you guys what it's like to take on an actual route. But at the same time, a little highway stint wouldn't, wouldn't hurt it, right? Right? We'll figure it out. And we're back. We did not jump on the highway. Um, there's kind of a traffic jam, but we are still in electric mode. We have zero miles of range, but this blue bar means we're still in electric mode. Uh, 26, oh, there we go, right in front of you guys. So 26.9 miles per gallon. We have now switched over to hybrid mode, which means the battery's been depleted. So 27 miles of range. We got 27 miles of range, as you guys can see. 27 miles of range. 90 miles a gallon, average speed of 28.1, and we average 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour, which I, I don't know in like electric car terms, 50, I, I think Tesla's more efficient, I'm pretty sure, but like, it's also a heavy car. Let's actually stop at this gas station since it's right here, and we're gonna fill up the tank and see what I got on my last fill up like overall let's go right over here because I got to fill it up anyway before I return to them and then just to show you guys as you can see so when you're in electric mode and you have a little bit of juice so we ran out but we're still able to give it like 15% power or whatever it is and go up to th right now 39 miles an hour and this number will fluctuate but the blue means what you can go up to before you get kicked out of like electric mode and the engine turns on. But let's go back here. Let's do, since the last refueling, we've driven 216 miles. We've driven 128 of those in electric. And the car is saying 58.1. So we're just gonna do the calculations. The way I'm gonna do it is, so my charging is free. So there's no factoring in like, cost of charging for me in this in these terms so what i'm just going to do is just the normal 216 divided by how many gallons it takes since the charging is free i count those as extra bonus miles i don't know if it's the correct way to, to calculate it but that's the way i want to calculate it because again i'm not paying for charging so we're going to go fill up and we're going to see what the car gets so it's kind of loud outside because of a truck but we took 3.729 gallons i did the tfl way where you click uh, it clicks, you late 30 seconds, you grab the pump a little bit more to see if, it, if the tank can take anything. But we did 216.6 divided by 3.729. Drum roll, please. Boop. 58 miles a gallon. We got 58 overall, which is what the computer in the car was saying. In a car, hold on, in a car that weighs over 4,000 pounds, it's a luxury sedan, it is loaded to the brim with beautiful features it's quiet it's comfy it's butter smooth it is this car checks off a lot of boxes for somebody like me this car checks off a lot of boxes i regret not looking at even the three series version it's about the same range and the performance on this five series acceleration on the electric five series is a little bit better than the 530e regular non-electric acceleration is a little bit better gas mileage is better now caveat this car is amazing, and I would say you should get this over a regular 530E if the following. You have a garage, a house. Do not rely on public chargers. I would never rely on public chargers for a car like this. It just charges. It's too slow. There's no DC fast charging. It's not worth it. So if you don't have like public, or if you don't have a home charger, even a, a household 110, 120 volt, or watt, whatever outlet, skip this car, right? If... Because this car gets a little bit lower gas mileage than in the on the highway at least than the non plug in 530. Performance is better, MPG is a little bit lower, but it's also a little bit more expensive, but not by much. Now, if you're somebody like me, where you can plug it in where you live, charge it, and your commute is cities, even some highway with back roads, but like under 25, 20 miles you should get this car all day for me i can go i can leave my house full charge drive to work 
back home after my eight or 12 hour shift, then to the gym, back home, and then to work. And then usually by the time I get to work, it's either dead or has like a mile. And then I have that, my drive home, that five, six, seven mile drive home is electric, half electric, half gas, whatever, hybrid. Um, I don't charge it between the time I come home and then go to the gym because it's not a lot of time. It's not worth plugging it in. I don't want to suck up the chargers in my like apartment complex for this car um, when there's other people that could use it. The, when I normally am charging it, it's during the day because I am a third shifter. So during that, when normal people want to come home and plug their cars in, my car is not plugged in. Because I can run an engine while the other two Teslas can't run an engine. There's no engine. This car is phenomenal. Honestly, I'm like sick as fuck that I didn't like look at it before. It's faster than my 530E. The power is more linear. The power band's great. I'm just disgusted, honestly. But as you guys can see, 58 miles a gallon, and this is with a 90 mile highway journey. Like, that's great. Before the, the highway journey, I was actually averaging um, about 75 to 79 which is just absolutely stupendous. And again, that's with a, some light city engine driving, maybe a little bit of jump on the highway. Sometimes I stomp on the gas pedal and the power kicks up and the engine turns on and all that nice stuff. But yeah, that's the range, 27 miles on the full charge, um, climate control on. Uh, it's about ambient temperature outside, it's about 36, 38 degrees. I can't complain people. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I put about seven, 800 miles on this car since I've had it. Just filled it up. We're actually gonna go drop it off at the dealership right now. Let's see, let's see her turn on. And she's on, again, battery's depleted. It's reading 324 miles of range. It is so loud outside, there's so many construction trucks. But uh, like, look, this I'm taking off right now. It's in electric mode, I give it more gas engine kicked on you don't even feel it you don't hear it you don't feel it the only time you notice the engines actually on is when you actually when you give it a good amount of gas where you're trying to pull then you'll feel the engine on but like at these low speeds it's on i just don't know that it's on if that makes sense but let's uh i think we're supposed to go right and she still pulls so if we go into sport mode extra boost let's put the seatbelt on i think i need to go right i'm not a hundred percent sure where the dealership is let's just uh ooh, it's a little torquey oh she moves yeah i think this is the right way i'm always lost in this area i'm sorry guys but again this car has plenty of power to get you where you need to go Let's get the seat back in my normal spot. I moved up because the sun was in my eyes. Yeah. It feels fast, if not as fast, as my 3 Series. So I got no complaints in that, in the performance aspect. Especially for a car that's like five, 600 pounds heavier. But again, any comments, leave them in the description. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys.